Thanks for tuning in to the Atari Punk Console channel once again. This time we're building the 1 amp power supply Velleman kit, K1823. Now every good lab would have a power supply in it so you can save yourself some money on batteries. Yep, that's right, batteries. Power supplies will save you some money on batteries. Alright, so let's take a look at the parts here. We've got the PC board, which is where all the parts go in order to make this power supply. The uh, voltage regulator, the LM317, right here. Can't really see that. A couple of capacitors, a few capacitors there. A variable resistor to adjust the output strength of your uh, power. Depending on what your input is, you can adjust your uh, output to the maximum of your input up to 35 volts. You got some screw down terminals here for plugging in your input voltage and your output voltage. And you have a resistor and some diodes. The diodes are for taking AC and turning it into DC. So in one end, you can put either AC or DC. And on the other end, which is the output end, you will get DC out. A, a uh, definite positive and negative. You can see right here on the board, it's got out, positive, and negative. So, uh, if you want some more information about how that works, look yourself up a rectifier diode, and uh, you'll see what I mean. On the input here, you can take it takes either takes up to nine to twenty four volts AC or nine to thirty volts DC, I think. Yeah. And on the output here, it comes out as DC. The positive and the negative there. Alright, so the first step in building this kit is installing the diodes and the resistor. That's the first and second step. When you're installing diodes, just like LEDs and electrolytic capacitors, you have to pay attention to the polarity and the polarity would be shown by this little white line right here for negative so what you would do on the board a lot of times on boards they have a little white line that matches the side of the negative side of that diode and you see this one here would be flipped around so what you do is you fold that thing up put it in there making sure that your white line is in the same orientation as the one on the board and solder it in
All right, now that the diodes and the resistor are installed, we are going to install a variable resistor. And this variable resistor is for adjusting the output. So uh, depending on how many volts you put in, you can adjust it to the maximum of that voltage, up to 35 volts, all the way down to 0 volts. And then up next is the smaller of the four capacitors, the 0.1 microfarad capacitor with a marking of a 104 on it, meaning 0.1 or 100 nanofarad. It's not polarized. As you can see, there's no positive and negative on it. You put it in either way, so don't worry about polarity with this kind. With the 100 nanofarad capacitor now installed, we'll move on to installing the terminal blocks. These make it really easy for you to connect wires. You can just uh, insert them right into there, and screw them down right here, and they'll stay and, and you can use your power supply then. Alright, now with our terminal blocks installed, the next step we'll be moving on to is these two capacitors. We got a 1 microfarad capacitor and a 10 microfarad capacitor. Now, it's important that you know which one's which because they look exactly the same. So you have to look at these little labels on here and you can see that it says 1 microfarad on this one and it says 10 microfarad on this one. So make sure that you get them right. Alright, so next up is the voltage regulator, the LM317, and then this 2200 microfarad capacitor, 35 volts. Use any more than 35 volts, you'll blow this thing up. One important note to make sure that you do when you're installing this is if you notice on the board there's a line right here where you install the, v the voltage regulator. Make sure that the back of this, this metal piece right here, is aligned with that line like this. Like that. You see? Or else it won't work. It's the same thing with the polarity with these you gotta watch the, the polarity with a voltage regulator. Alright, so now the whole thing is done and it's all connected. We've got the power from the uh, the wall right here coming into it through this. It's connected over here to the, to the a transformer, 12 volt transformer connected into the input of the power supply and the output is DC, so you have to put the positive on the positive and the negative on the negative. And we're getting a readout of 17 to 18 volts. And um, this can be adjusted so you can get the right amount of voltage with this adjustment right here. We can turn that down to whatever we want. So if we say we got a project that only requires 9 volts, we'll turn this down with our meter connected to it until we get nine volts and then we have ourselves a power supply for our project